That's a low volume. So it gets really loud. That's actually a distress uh, a distress call of a starling. Like if they're upset or they're being captured by something, they'll they'll make this noise. And so that's enough to keep them away. This is a tool we might use. Uh, it's called a propane cannon or a propane exploder, and, and all it does is make a really loud noise. The same is is if we use our pyrotechnics. Um, the good thing about this is you can place this in a location where you expect birds are going to be an issue. Uh, so maybe a, a flock of starlings is going to stage up uh, before they go to roost at night. What that means is they, they have a location where they like to, to sit on a power line perhaps and pick some grit out of the gravel, maybe get a bite to eat just before they're going to go to some wooded area to roost for the night. Um, so you can place this there and it can set it on a timer to explode and make that bang you know, every 15 seconds, every 30 minutes, uh, whatever your needs are. And what that allows you to do is, is leave that thing there and you can go on and, and resolve other issues around the field. You know, in some situations where uh, you might have a lot of people around, say in front of the terminal where people get picked up, dropped off, uh, you, you can't just go shooting a pyrotechnic off there. It's, it's too loud and people aren't gonna like it. So we even have these uh, highly specialized tools just to make noise. And that's enough to scare the starlings away. Make this thing make a noise. Oftentimes I don't even have to use the pyrotechnic. Uh, just the, oftentimes that's loud enough to just scare them away. That's all there is to it. But it's an effective tool. Scared me.